shit. But well, it's how do like, you feel in that moment of Meek sort of putting that out there and then everything goes crazy, right? A guy that was your friend, you know, things, things get a little hectic with you guys at that point, right? Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, I think he was, in a, he was in a bad mental spot. And um, yeah, he just made like a, a, a decision to, to go crazy, you know? It was, uh, if I remember correctly, it was based on a show that I didn't show up for. That was really was like the tipping, tip of the iceberg. I think uh, we, had, we had a little miscommunication and he was under the impression that I had confirmed that I was pulling up to one of his shows. And I think it was one, maybe one in Philly. And, um, and, I didn't, and I didn't show up. And, you know, my management or somebody reached out to say I wasn't coming. <clears throat> and I think, you know, that being coupled with whatever, you know, conversations were happening amongst him and his lady and, you know, him just kind of getting this idea, maybe I don't fuck with him or whatever, whatever. Um, and, you know, he'll tell you himself he wasn't in the best mental spot at that time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think he just took a hard left and uh, decided to just go for it and felt like he had that enough ammunition to maybe, you know, put a major dent in my armor or, or decapitate me, you know? And, um, and again, I, I'm, 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 really, uh, I'm really good at um, channeling those, those, that negativity and those pressures into pushing me to a next level where I just, I, I go into a, a calculated reactive space. Yeah. Charged but, up, back to back. You almost yeah. took a, the bully position. Like, where y'all at? Like, yeah, I mean, I just, <laughs> I just felt like, I just felt like, you know, in that moment, I just felt like, all right, well, if we're talking about music, let me just show you better than I can tweet you, you know, or better than I can right. text you. Let me, I'm just gonna show you what I'm about. Um, and I don't think, I, I, I don't think anybody really expected me to just jump out there and, and defend myself and go, and go first. And, and twice. And, 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 and second. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think, yeah, you know, Charged Up was, was, um, was, a, was a thing that, you know, I was just seeing. I was just seeing if it was real. I was just seeing if it was, because, you know, you never know how calculated someone's plan is. Maybe they've been sitting on the record for six months. They hated you all this time. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they just want to fry you. Right. And so Charged Up was my way of being like, you know, is it real or is this just like a sporadic, like, like outburst? You know, yeah, I just wanted to know if it was real, if it was a package or if it was just like maybe like a mistake on his part, you know. And I started to realize that it was... Um, taking an adversarial yeah. stance in a sense. So. Yeah, yeah, and then, um, and then I had made the decision that I was gonna, um, I had made the decision that I was gonna uh, go again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I remember I was, I was working on some, some beat, I think it was like a Boy Wonder beat or something like that. And it was like kind of more like rappy, mm -hmm. you know, it was gonna be another like 100 bar thing and, uh, and um, I was with Serena at the time, and uh, we had been talking a lot about, um, about her and Sharapova going back and forth over the years. And um, she had made this, made this comment to me, and she was like, well, look, um, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go again, you know, you, you, that, like, she's like, that beat that's on in there, it's just that, she's like, you gotta finish it. Mm. She, and you know, she's a top competitor. Nice. So she was like, you got to finish it. Like, I'm talking about done, mm -hmm. over. And it's got to be something that, that everyone that he's with and him have to hear. Mm -hmm. Can't ignore it. Right. Yeah. You, can't, you can't do some sh shit that's just for the moment and then it goes away. Yeah. She kind of put this battery in my back, funny <laughs> enough. Uh, and then at the, at the time, just, you know, again, timing. Yeah. This kid, Dax... Uh, walked in the walked in the studio and never met him before. Played a beat, and that was the first beat. Right. And it was right. slow. It was super slow. It was way slower than it was. And then I told Forty like, "Yo, speed speed it up a bit." And that was just when we heard that. Mm. 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 I just went into demon mode. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then, you know, from I mean, I really, you know, I don't I don't like to glorify the situation yeah. or talk you, about it too yeah. much, obviously, because well, I'm just giving you the background yeah, on how it, it happened. But, you know, I'm not trying to sit here and be like, yeah, my record was something. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's, but but reconciliation, I mean, the Boston show, you bring him out. Like, a lot has happened 
after that battle, right? Yeah. I mean, you could write a whole, you could do a whole thirty for thirty on that <laughs> that battle, right? But well, yeah, there's. A, I mean, <laughs> by the way, you know, also these things go to another another place, right? So yeah. you know, one thing I could tell you firsthand is like, you know, Meek's not a pretender. He's not a joker. He's not like beefing with some of these other rap guys where it's like their story's all made up and they're they're really not their their character's not like that. Meek's Meek's really about that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, and I can tell you firsthand, mm -hmm. straight yeah. up, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, I know obviously yeah. he's made a change yeah. in his life, but I'll, I'll, be, right. I'll be the first to tell you that. Meek's, but, Meek's that guy for real. So it's like, I wasn't beefing with no punk, right. you know? And but, it's like, um, yeah, for, for, for us to be able to turn that, turn that, uh, turn that around was a, was a big thing. I think, I think we both felt an obligation just to everybody that had eyes on us, all these young kids. We had to turn that around because we know how far it, was, it could, it, it was going yeah. and almost went, you know? So 